previously on Splinter Cell Double Agent. About time, Sam. You're taking a hell of a chance coming out here now. It was necessary. Your implants fuzzed and this intel can't wait. We found the Rube Lab and Masood Ibn Yusuf's men are training on it. Your pal Emil has a nuke starter kit. His buddy Masood will use that tanker to deliver it. I need you to break into his office and get the specs on what he's doing. I'll contact you as soon as I can. Emil, I was just headed up to your office. No need. How are the mines coming along? Amy, you train. aren't you? I do my best. You're not cleared to be up here. I'm gonna have to report this, Sam. Mixing business and pleasure can get tricky. You're telling me. I'll tell you what, next time, bring flowers. This time, I like a slide. What we're doing, Sam, is very simple. This is a dry run for the real operation, the big one that's going to get our point across to the government. Before we do that, though, we need to know that our tech works. And that's where you come in. I need you to place an explosive on board the cruise ship we've booked you on. You'll want to plant it in the navigation room. We've got the ship schematics, and the route you should take leads you through the casino and the bar, then down to the pool and through the steam vents to where you need to go. I know that's a lot to remember, but there's a lot riding on this. Do it, Sam, and do it right. I'll see you when you get back. Rise and shine, lover boy. Funny, you don't sound like Enrica. Brilliant. Now get your butt in gear and do something. CIA's operational intel's best guess is that they're doing a field test on their bomb construction. According to the blueprints on that bomb, we've got maybe one chance of preventing it from going off. What do I need to do? When you plant the bomb, note the detonation frequency. Enter that into the main server back at HQ so we can get our hands on it. And we evacuate the ship just in case. The Mexican authorities are being stubborn about that. You'll have to force their hand. Place smoke bombs in the vents and let them think there's a fire. We can apologize later. but I am hooked into their security systems. Remember, I need you to plant the bomb in the navigation room toward the prow of the ship. But the corridors are crawling with police, and you can't let yourself be seen. This one has to go right. Open up! Tom Elliott! Be careful, Sam. Yes? The guards are concentrated in the casino. Yes, Just so sit on. in the shadows until it's safe to move, okay? Are you gonna give me orders every yeah, ten feet? Sir, you remind me of my former boss. Man, what a view! You gotta come take a look at this! I'm working here, man, you know? Like you should be. Work and I wait! You gotta see this! Please stay in your cabin. Yeah, whatever. I'm coming. Just shut up already, will you? What's going on, everybody? It's Snot Rag, and I'm back with more Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent. On the Xbox Series S, we have one of my on. favorite missions. In fact, this is my here. favorite mission out of the entire game. We have Let the Cozumel Cruise time. mission. This is quite a doozy of a mission casino. too, because you have a lot of secondary objectives, uh, some lights and shadows, and daylight and everything. And the casino section here is just awesome to sneak by. And if you do exactly as I do here, you should be able to get through this no problem. And of course, silky smooth. Yeah. 
Enrique was able to uh, activate the slot machines for us. Now, if we go over here toward where the uh, Chrysler is, we can actually come under here. I didn't know this, that I could hide under here in my first playthrough all those years ago. And then replaying it, it's just like, hey, yeah, you can hide under here. So as soon as we know that we're kind of in the clear, there's a little shade spot right here that we're going to go to. This sign right here. We could actually just chill here for a little bit until the coast is clear. And then we should be able to get by the door and lockpick that open, no issues. Now, if you want to do kind of like a speed run, you can OCP this little um, slot machine here, but I missed. Of course I did. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna wait for this guard just to kind of do his normal patrol route. Once he goes past the door and his peripherals are kind of out of our way here, we should be able to go. All right, next up ahead, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do exactly as I do here. And once you get through here, you're gonna wanna hurry up because the guard's gonna turn around and see you. Yep, see? Just in time, silky smooth. I'm a god. <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna come over here and we're gonna hide under this staircase for a little bit. Like, uh, th this is gonna be your best friend for a little bit because there's a guy coming down here automatically. And he's gonna play around with a circuit breaker box and he's going to be toggling some light switches and everything like that and we do not want any kind of light like that in that kind of situation when we're trying to sneak by and we have to complete a whole bunch of objectives meaning that we got to plant the bomb without being spotted so we cannot afford to be spotted from here on out so here he is playing with the light switches you just stay under here it's the safest route i know speedrunners are probably going to be like oh my god you could do this this is not a speed run, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you can easily attain 100% stealth rating. We better check that out. That anybody can do it, especially on hard difficulty, with a game like Splinter Cell Double Agent, where the AI is absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> but I also, like I said, I'm just taking my time right here to say, guys, thank you all so so much for all the love and support that I have been getting from. Anything Splinter Cell related, it, it goes to show that you guys are, that the fans are still here. And like I said, just keep liking the videos. Uh, if I get up to a thousand views on all my Splinter Cell walkthroughs, I will play Pandora tomorrow for you guys. So that guard's just going to go back the way we came from, and we're going to wait for him to actually close the door, and then we can go. Because sometimes a guard that's from that room will be passing by, and he'll see you. Shut it off for a little extra insurance. Did nothing. I can't really remember which switch it is to turn off the chandelier. Now, up here, you're going to want to do this pretty fast. If you don't get it in this time session, then reload the checkpoint. you got to do this really, really fast. Nice think bar. That thing is real? Nice no, drinks. It's animal. Nice fish. Nice guard, too. Doing good. Careful, Doing good. they're all over it. I suggest not getting detected. Oh, so many how? Around. Oh, that was silky smooth. Thank God. That was quick. All right. Yep. OCP this camera. Security system up to my PDA. Should be able to act. Hang on. I think I lost. And then here you. we can place the smoke bomb. Boom. Look at that. We completed the NSA primary objective by placing smoke bombs in the vent. And all we're going to do is just chill here. Man, I wish we were down there right now. By far my favorite... My, my favorite level in, in this entire Why? game is this one right here. Why? <laughs> Why? Because I want to strangle the guy. Smash his head into the side of the pool and make Now the guards are actually going to come this bomb. way, so we could just chill Aren't in this corner, and then once they both come through these yeah. doors, Lieutenant's we can go right to the elevator, and that's control. that. I'm not talking about the civilians. I'm talking about us. Don't worry about it. You got some faith I just don't share, my friend.
there's one. There should be another one coming. Yep, there's two. Time to move. Remember to move, move slow. Otherwise, they'll hear you. They have hearing like bats, guys. I'm not kidding you. And we're good. Uh oh, Sam, you've got company. Where? Right where you're about to come out. Hide, big guy. So two options for hiding. We can either hide here or we can hide up in that little um, uh, emergency hatch area. But I choose to hide here just so that way uh, when it's time for us to move, uh, we don't have to jump down and worry about making excess noise and we can just go. Who's on three? Who the hell do you just think you are? are? Why? Ah, somebody's fooling with hey, the elevator. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just getting my passport. Where's the bomb? I don't know what. Spread out and search the deck. See if it's somewhere near here. Nice, the silky's blue. There's not a lot of cover. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I think I can. What are you? Wow. What the hell? Who turned on the fountains? I think they're automatic. Just don't get wet. The gun might jam. Yeah, right. Alright. That's exactly where we're gonna be going. This is the easiest route. Plus, Sam is... A, a Navy SEAL, so it's only natural for him to be in water. Here we go. Now, don't go immediately. Sometimes the guards like to be looking our way and they'll spot you getting out of the pool, so we're just gonna pull a quick recon of the area real quick to see if we're clear. Okay, yeah, they're looking this way. There's a guard up there, we can probably go. Just follow my route over here. Just keep an eye out. Thank you don't know God. when there's gonna be guards around. Right. I've unlocked the door to the hammam but now we actually caught that there's guard that was up here on the balcony right going in the, the right direction, deck. so we can actually go now. Yep, let's just go for it. All right, so as soon as we get into this room here, what you're gonna wanna do is just don't worry about the door. You're just gonna wanna go straight to the light switch here. Turn that off, and then we're gonna go over this way. Because as soon as we switch that light off, two guards are gonna be piling in here from the sauna. And that's gonna give us plenty of wiggle room to actually get in here and get out. Silky smooth. That. Marika, you think you can get and more steam on in here? I could do with a little extra cover. Now, the reason why I'm going for this pipe first is because we have the ability to climb up and remain hidden just in case these guards come back. There's like a whole bunch of other points here that you could have climbed up easily, but I like to just get up here as soon as I can and me knowing that I can just maneuver around like this in the dark and safely above ground where nobody can see me is even better of a highlight. All right, we're doing good. Oh, 
Hay fever. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like, hear, just hearing that right after you sneeze when you know you're alone, I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> Alright, so what that guy that apparently has a cold, summer cold, I guess, what he's gonna do is he's gonna go over to the vending machines. That's gonna be immediately to the right. Let's turn this light off for a little bit of extra insurance. And there's actually a computer to the right here that will have the door code for us. Can we see through? No. There we go. Yeah, we can see through the window and we're still in the dark. So what he's going to do is, as soon as he's done doing that, I don't know how long it really takes for him to, um, to go sit down on the couch, but once he does that, he's going to fall asleep. And then that's going to allow us to go over there and, yep, he's going right now. Okay. So what that's gonna allow us to do is, there's a laptop over there that we go and go over there and hack, and then that's gonna give us the door code. Are you sure you wanna do this? I don't exactly have a choice here, Sam. If this doesn't work, Emil's gonna blame me, and that tends to be fatal. So very, very carefully. Let's see if we can get the PC. Here we go. Yep. There we go. Navigate uh, navigation door code. Let's see what else? Okay, emergency hatch repair. So this is our exfiltration. They just fixed it. That's good. And then maintenance report. Eh, not important. You guys can pause and read that if you guys want. All right, so again, slowly, we're gonna make our way over to the door. And we got the code, so we're good. So the door code is 2112. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I was trying to use my directional pad. All right, now. What we got going on here is weird. We have a whole bunch of guys. Two of them are going to be coming this way. We need to wait a second. And then there's another guy out where we have to go who could be kind of an idiot when it comes to trying to sneak around him. We're going to wait for this guy to move and then we're going to come over here into this corner over here and we're going to wait. These two guards are going to have a conversation and then eventually they're going to be done talking and they're going to make their way up the set of stairs. They done yet? And then the third guy that's out there on the so deck with binoculars just searching the coastline. That's him over that's there. He's to gonna find. come in here and then he's gonna be the man, only guy that we have to worry about getting around. Get rid of and he can be a little tough. True. Alright, so they're here now. Get under this desk first. I don't really remember his movement patterns. All that. Yep. See, he's moving already. Good thing we ducked under here. That would be a good time to move. Honestly, I think it's just we're gonna end up playing Ring Around the Rosie with this guy. There's also been a couple times where, because of this guy, we have to time getting out of here just right. Because when we go out there, there's going to be a zip line. There have been multiple instances where this guy has seen me get on the zip line. And you know, I'm on a zip line. I really can't do anything after that point. And I've had to reload the checkpoint multiple, multiple times. So we're just going to wait here. And we're just going to see what he does. He's going to come toward us here in just a second. Trying to be as careful as I can here. Alright. That's our time to go. But like I said, hold off on jumping on the zip line real quick. We want to make sure that he will not see us when we jump up there. 
because so many times I have done this exact part, I've got this far, and I have been spotted by this guy in the control room while on the zip line. And again, there's nothing you can do. So we're gonna wait for the perfect time. That looks like a golden opportunity. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Remind me why we want to blow up this ship. Emil wants to test the device. Don't worry, it's a test. No more. That doesn't strike me as Emil's style. The boat is nearly empty, Sam. It's just a couple of Coast Guards and a few tourists. It's a small liability. You ever armed a bomb? Once or twice. Good, because you're going to have to do it without me. Just climb down here. My phone will verify a working signal once you're done. Then we can get the hell out of here. And how are we doing that exactly? Now, literally, there's only going to be one cover. guy that you we're going to have to worry about. about. Just follow along what I do here, but walk slowly because they will hear you if you're going a little too fast. And we're just going to wait right here. What's going to happen is there's going to be a crew member that's going to go right on top of the building that we have our back against. And he's just going to stay there throughout the rest of the time. We won't have to worry about them or him. We won't have to worry about him whatsoever he'll stay there throughout the entirety here he comes but the other guy that we got to worry about is a coast guard soldier so he's going to be the issue of when we have to move and getting in this uh little hut is not going to be a problem it's getting out Okay, yeah, now's a good time to go. We're gonna come over here and lockpick this door. Come on. Alright, we're in. There's something. And we're gonna turn off the light here just for a little extra insurance. back here than I remember. Jesus. Is there a camera back here? I thought there would be a camera here. Well, let me check. Guess not. Alright, well, we gotta punt the bomb. I'm done. Nice work, Sam. You've got an exit route through the side door. I'll see you soon. And don't forget, we need to hack the bombs so that way we can get the frequency. Don't get paranoid. We just planted a bomb. Paranoid is appropriate. In any case, all right. So we just strong. did it. Got an exit point now the, the issue the that door. we have You're now is on. getting out of this little shack because we still have that guard that's patrolling the area. Yep, there he is. See. If we were to go just then, we would have been screwed. So let's just wait. We're done here, Sam. What are you waiting for? Enrica, chill. When you get the goggles and you're out here sneaking around guys with fully automatic rifles, then, then, and only then, you can yell at me like that. Jesus, woman. Enrica, chill, woman. I'm coming. Alright. So remember that little email that we got about the emergency hatch? This is it. We're gonna need to make this quick because that guard is making his rounds. He will see us if we don't hurry this up. spotted us. Time to go. And... Spread Eagle! 
Nailed it. All right, mission complete. Gonna need to take a look at our stats here. So yeah, completed. Don't kill civilians. Reach the pool deck without alerts. All right, so far so good. We're looking really good. And let's see if I finally unlocked another gadget here. Hang on one second. EMP, oh, gas grenade attachment. Okay, yeah, so we did get a new gadget finally. Awesome. All right, well, I guess now it's time for the big reveal. Yep, look at that, 100%. We did it, guys. <laughs> How about them apples? So yeah, there we go, guys. My favorite mission, 100% on hard difficulty. Guys, if you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and do subscribe. So that way we can keep this channel going and make it one of the greats. I can't do this fight alone. I need you guys' help. I love y'all. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And as always... Stay frosty.